My name is Gavin Evans, and this is my review of Hellboy the Crooked Man. And I think I was the only person actually excited for this movie. At the beginning of the year, I made a video on my most anticipated movies of 2024, and believe it or not, this movie was on that list. Just everything I heard about it got me excited. Like if we aren't getting Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy 3, then the decision to shy away from a big budget superhero movie and turn this franchise into a folk horror movie was the perfect decision to make. And I read the plot, and it sounded like it could feel similar to Resident Evil Village, a, mo a game that I love. So I was optimistic, but then I saw the trailer, and it looked like a fan-made movie. And then they announced that this movie wasn't going to theaters, it's going directly to digital. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be bad. And I'll say this. I do think this movie is bad. But I don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be. It's still technically the best superhero movie of 2024. And it's funny because I actually believe that. But look, I see and I like what this movie is trying to do. What it's trying to be, a folk horror movie. I like that. But the execution is just sluggish. This movie is so slow and so bland. And it's a boring movie, unfortunately. I thought the characters and story were completely underdeveloped and I just didn't care about anything going on. But, I actually think Brian Taylor does a decent job directing this movie. Like, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I like how this movie looks 80% of the time. Sometimes it does look like a fan movie, usually during the daytime, but at night, and whenever they're in a cabin, there's a nice atmosphere to this movie. I actually do like the visuals and the practical effects look good. I wish there was more of them, but I still like them. Uh, the CGI is shit though. Like, what were they thinking? There's this giant spider and whenever it appears, it just feels like a completely different movie. It, it doesn't fit this movie's look at all. Um, I thought the music by Sven Faulkner was actually pretty decent. It reminded me of Joseph Bashir's score in the Insidious movies. Lots of reliance on violins, but it does work. And yeah, so there are redeeming qualities to this movie and its ambition and some of its execution. I just think it needed a much better script. And by the end, I wanted more of the whole aspects. I wanted more craziness. And yeah, uh, the cast is fine. Nothing special. Uh, Jack Casey... He's not bad, he gives a fine performance, he just doesn't really have any personality, he just doesn't really stand out, like Hellboy just kind of feels like a human character here. And maybe if he was written better, I would have been okay with that approach. Jefferson White who was, what's his name? I think he's in Yellowstone. 
but I thought he did a fine job. Adeline Rudolph, fine job. Joseph Marcel, Martin Bassendale did a fine job. The standout to me though was Leah McNamara who knew what kind of movie this was and fully delivered. I thought she was very off-putting and she stole every scene she was in. She is definitely the standout here. So I don't hate this movie. I'm just let down. I'm frustrated because there's a good movie here, but the execution is just off and the script needed a few more rewrites. So I'll give Hellboy the Crooked Man a 4 out of 10. I do have reviews for the other Hellboy movies coming out next month, but between this movie being a bomb and the 2019 Hellboy being a bomb, it's time to let Guillermo del Toro conclude his trilogy and make Hellboy 3. Ron Perlman is like 74. This is the last possible chance. Just make that fucking movie, please. Because obviously nothing else with this character is connecting with people. But Hellboy the Crooked Man, did you th see it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin...